how exciting so these are affordable scents that i know i will love i've been stalking them for such a long time and they were on the wish list let me know if you own any of these perfumes and i'm just gonna recommend them now because i already know that they're great um there are a few that i have not tried that are blind buys but let's see how we go okay let's jump right into it okay this is ariana grande cloud so um this is 100 ml the box is like really pretty i have spoken about this perfume as a duped baccarat rouge 540 edp but i bought it because of its airy warmth sweet type of scent and dry down um i just thought it would be a great layering piece in my collection um so this perfume is described as a white puffy cloud of your very own to hold your dreamy new fragrance well i think they're talking about the packaging when you're ready to spray just lift your bottle out of the cloud base replace when you're done to keep your bottle floating in the clouds this is what the perfume looks like um clear blue acrylic well this is glass and this feels a little bit acrylic and as they were explaining you lift this you spray and you place it back in the cloud and sit it on your vanity just like this it just says ariana grande right here and it's cute the dry down is warm and spicy it's getting sweeter as it's drying but this is a grown type of scent actually um it's not something that you would spray on your child for example it's something that you would wear an adult can wear or like a teenager can wear but this would be their night out sexy perfume wait should they be getting sexy <laughs> as a teenager <laughs> no but yeah this can be their nighttime scent dinner with the family um as a grown person this can be a signature scent i'm not sure of the staying power though i do know that if you spray it on clothes it sticks better and it has more projection on the clothing as compared to on the skin so i will try and see how it works with my chemistry with my body chemistry but it's nice it will be a great layering scent this is not sweet like pink sugar or anything like that it's actually like soft spicy and warm it's drying down less sweet actually on my skin it's sweeter than baccarat um, edp in the dry down but the initial spray is similar similar the airiness the warmth the spiciness is similar to baccarat but the perfume itself is quite different from Baccarat. Yes, it's good. Now I have it in my collection. So my second Ariana Grande scent today is Sweet Like Candy. The perfume was $59.95, which is basically 60 Australian dollars, but its original price was $79. So I got it on a discount. Yes, so Sweet Like Candy. 100 ml Eau de Parfum So this is the box Sweet like candy I know I'm gonna like this because I'm a bit of a sweet tooth Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. Oh, cute. Yes, so I've been eyeing all these Ariana Grande scents for years and finally buying them one by one. Um, so this is Sweet Like Candy. And we can assume it smells like candy. Yes, this is... Actually, let me spray it on my skin. This pom-pom kind of gets in the way when I'm spraying, but you can actually detach it. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can unhook it and take it off and maybe put it on my bag or handbag or something, which is really cute. Okay, this is pink sugar vibes, but not as dense as pink sugar. This is lighter than pink sugar, but it's, yeah, it's candy smelling. Next up are two scents from this brand. Okay, this is a brand I did not know of before, and I was in one of my drugstores nearby, and they had a few of these perfumes. Um, and when I saw the bottle, this brand reminded me of Nest Perfumes. If you don't know Nest Perfumes, they're a popular perfume brand. They're mainly sold in like Sephora and other places. I mean, they have their own website, but um, you can mainly get them from Sephora. You ever, whatever brand that is, sells perfumes that smell like Nest Perfumes and the bottles look like Nest Perfume. So let me unbox and show you because I was so excited. I hope the staying power is as good as Nest Perfumes, but we're about to find out. So it comes with this cute ribbon all around. Bam. And So it is a smooth matte box and it has these beautiful roses on there and they're kind of like a peach flower and it says you ever fragrance this one's called passionate rose I used to say that I'm not really a rose person but it turns out that lately I've been into florals and roses are like at the top of my favorite list of perfume ingredients or whatever and it's just how they use the rose that makes all the difference for me so I guess I am a rose person um yeah so let's let's open this that's why you never want to say that you hate something because you know it tastes change oh Look at this, matte at the back and clear at the front. Oh, it's so sleek. Okay, it's not magnetic, it's just a simple cap. I'm so excited. Oh, fresh rose. It smells a bit peachy, rose, um, tangerines, like citrusy, but um, it's beautiful. Like it's so pretty. Like it's such a lovely clean scent. On the skin, it's smelling like bitter, like a bitter, mandarin with rose in there but when i just sprayed in the air it's a little bit more fresh and citrusy i mean if you guys can find this in your drugstore go ahead and try them and let me know how you feel about them i'm excited to try them because they were so affordable 
I'm talking like $14.95, something like that. Really, really good price. And this is a hundred mil and it is a auto perform concentration, which is great. So I'm, I'm expecting good things. Now let's unbox the next one. So the second one I bought that I liked from the collection that they had available for me to try in the drugstore was wild paradise from you ever fragrance so it came in the same packaging as the one just before and oh such pretty boxes it's got florals on the box soft matte box auto perform um 100 mil and that's the back right there oh, i just like these boxes actually so there's this piece of paper that has the perfumes they have in the collection you tell me if that does not look like nest perfumes look at this bottle nest has their perfumes bottled like this you know so that's really oh even that one with the lavender there oh it looks exactly like they all do look like nest perfumes anyway nest perfumes are a little bit pricier obviously like a huge huge difference between fourteen dollars and a hundred and thirty or a hundred and fifty dollars for the nest perfume so that's a huge price gap if i love these if i end up enjoying these i don't know if nest is going to be getting my money you know wild paradise and don't be scared just because you're seeing a whole bunch of florals in the pictures they're actually like an elegant floral like a clean fresh floral that is tolerable because you guys know that i don't do heavy florals they need to have like an oriental element to them or like a sweet element to them for me to like them but anyway let's let's try wild paradise because <laughs> i'm dying to try it i already smell like something maybe i should spritz in the air because I already smell like macadamia oil, you know, sweet, something. So I can't spray perfumes on my wrist right now because you won't give me the true smell of perfumes. Mm. Okay. This one has a fruit in there as well, but I'm trying to figure out what fruit it is. It's also very floral, but they're more white florals, less rose. There's no rose in here. There's no rose. The other one smelled rosy and clean and fresh. This one smells like white florals and fruity. It's pretty. Mmm. This would even a, be a really great hairspray or just straight out of the shower. Oh, this is pretty, you guys. You ever. You could Google them. Yeah, it's just a really nice discovery. I wear perfume almost every day, so it's great when I can find affordable scents that smell amazing and almost dupes to really expensive perfumes some of these perfumes it's like they're stealing from us you know is it the ingredients that they're spending on is it just the name we're paying for is it the packaging we're paying for because if they were able to produce this perfume in this bottle that looks like nest then why are nest perfumes so expensive that's what i want to know they're not the most expensive out there actually they're you know averagely priced but i'm just saying like 
I'm just asking questions these days. But anyway, I like this. This is Wild Paradise. Go try it. I'll either put the name of this perfume in the description or on the screen. It's all fresh in French. So it's F-R-A-I-C-H-E. This flavor is white chocolate and pomegranate. Daydream is the name of this perfume now. These were also in the drugstore lined up nicely, but um, there were only like three there. The rest had finished. So I was only able to try the three and I loved two or one. I can't remember how much I bought, but oh no, I only bought one because the other one I really liked, it was out of stock. So check this out. This was so affordable. Another $14 perfume, but this is um, 50 mils because that's the biggest they come in. I googled this brand and they have many in the range. They even have body mists in the range and now I just have to buy the set. You know what I mean? This is another affordable perfume that smells luxurious, that smells more expensive than what it actually is. This is Daydream and I love Daydream. I want you guys to see this packaging. Yes, the cap feels like acrylic, cheap. Um, this feels like glass, but a light glass. This is 50 mils. It'll be easy to pop in my car and in, in a handbag for a respray. Um, this smells good. Okay. <laughs> the thing about cheaper perfumes is that alcohol concentration can be a little difficult to deal with in the initial spray, but once the scent settles on the skin and the alcohol evaporates, you're left with a really pretty scent. Okay, so this is this smells berry and sweet. Berry sweetness. Kind of like pink sugar the blueberry one but lighter it's sweet it's clean it's very pretty it's not childish smelling like pink sugar it's more grown smelling than pink sugar if you know what I mean so that's what I liked about it it's sweet it's berry smelling it is more grown and sexy you know um Oh, I love this. So I think I'm gonna go and buy more. I might gift some as well, just because that price was just uh, great. So yes, um, go give them a try. I'm happy to have it in my collection. It will be in my purse. It will be everywhere around with me, um, just as a respray. Actually, I feel like spraying this now. Yeah, pretty. Now, let me tell you a little story. I ordered some fragrances from fragrancenet.com. I've ordered from them many times before. I've never had this problem with them, but when this big box arrived, it not only did not have what I ordered, but I had one perfume that was an empty box. The plastic was off and it did not look like somebody else opened it before it got to my house and what 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 no it looked like it directly came to me like that and so i sent them an email and they were like well actually now we have a website for australian orders so order from there next time and here's a refund i was very disappointed because i'd waited weeks for this perfume to arrive if you guys remember my unboxing of the Orientica luxury perfumes, there was one bottle that was not spraying, that was malfunctioning. So I contacted feelingsexy.com because that's where I had ordered my Orientica scent from. They were really quick to respond. They um, told me to send back the malfunctioning bottle and they will send me a new bottle. I have the new bottle and I'm gonna unbox it 
and finally get to smell the perfume. This is one of the perfumes that I had ordered from FragranceNet. This is Rebel Fleur Love Always. You know I have the original Rebel Fleur. This is a flanker. This comes in that black bottle. If I remember, I'll put a picture up here. And this is how it came to me. Empty and opened like this. No plastic cover, which is super annoying after waiting weeks. They also sent me this perfume, which was the wrong one to what I had ordered. I think I had ordered well, I don't want to say it's a surprise because I'm going to reorder that perfume. But this is what I got instead. So we're going to unbox it. This is Angel Muse by Mugler. Auto Perform 30 Meals. So I'm going to gift this. Actually, why did I even open it? Because I already own this perfume, but in the bigger bottle. Now I'm regretting actually opening this because I just thought to myself, maybe I should have just done a giveaway. Or I should do a giveaway because you guys have been really great to me and it's time I give back you know what I mean but I'm not gonna use it I'm just gonna leave it like this this is Angel Muse 30 meals auto perform it's great so I'll include that in a giveaway let's put that on the side next perfume I purchased from the drugstore is 4711 Remix cologne. It's a cologne. So it's lighter concentration It's almost like an auto toilet, but not quite you know that there's the original for 7-eleven and these are the flankers well because I bought another one. This is one of the flavors I'll put the bottle up here if I remember to do that of the original that one has been around for many many years and They're only just coming out with flankers now, I think so this is one of them this is more of a lemony oh yes fruity tangy wild zesty summer freshness of lemon in this surprising new remix of their perfume so i liked this a lot this is a hundred mils and i want to buy more because it'll be a great gift do you know what this smells like oh my goodness I can't believe I, this just came to me it smells like Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense literally and it sounds like the ingredients are similar to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. The lemon, the zesty feel, the freshness, everything. Actually, I wonder if it has good sillage and staying power. But this is a great, great dupe. Oh my goodness. Is this another video idea? Okay. Let's try the next one. Um, a different flavor, but the same range this is for 7-eleven remix cologne pink loud limitless this modern auto cologne showcases the contemporary spirit of the classic original auto cologne experience an explosive mix based on orange blossoms and fruity cheeky remix so this one is supposedly fruity 100 mils cute packaging This is fruity, a bit sour, fresh. The fruitiness makes it a little bit sweet, but it still is a bit zesty. It's a bit um, citrusy, sweet, fresh, clean. You know what? I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna go buy maybe two of each. Cause I'm gonna gift one of each and then keep the extra one for myself I love these 
because I have run out of clean, you know, affordable scents that I can spray out of the shower. Okay, I feel like I need to reiterate my routine when I'm spraying these types of scents straight out of the shower, okay? I won't talk too long, so just, just listen for a second. In the shower, you know, if my skin has not been having any irritations and stuff because I have sensitive skin, I will use, you know, a scented body wash, like, you know, something fun. Otherwise, I'll just use a sensitive body wash, something like that, sensitive skin body wash. When I use a nice scented body wash, I will get out of the shower, pat dry, while I'm still steaming hot. You know when the steam is coming off your skin like that? I will use a body oil first. Body oil first, because you know what the body oil does for me? It traps the moisture in my skin. Traps it because my skin is, you know, freshly out of the shower, so that oxygen, it traps the oxygen on my skin to keep me hydrated. Then I spray. Then I use a body cream. Then I use a body lotion. Then I spray again. Do you see like I'm layering scents? Honestly, most of the time I don't actually need to wear a perfume on top because my skin is already scented and layered in nice scents. It works great. So even if a perfume is cheap and is not high in concentration, there are different ways to make it last. If you have not watched my last video about how to make your perfumes last longer, you need to watch that. It'll also be linked up there, okay? Watch it after this video, obviously. But I always throw in gems, like great tips and stuff, things that I do. And the things that I do are not things that other people, I hear other people saying, because I have my own things and I like to be original about my stuff. Sharing is caring though. I'm slowly letting out some of my secrets and I don't know how I feel about that. It's a bit, yes. Now I have these two flankers, the original, Mm, it's too spicy and a bit more masculine. It's affordable, it's great for men, I'd say. It's not always the perfume, it's how you wear it. And I just find that the way I do my stuff is quite different to how I hear other people do what they do. And if it's working for me, I hope it works for you. Well, I always wear my hair like this because I just like this, but then people started doing that too. And you know how I used to wear a lot of rings on my fingers since I started videos, like, was it a year? Over a year. And now people do that too. And it's just like, anyway, moving on. Now, these are really great. So I'm happy to have these in my collection. Mm. This one was also in the drugstore. This is Candy Apple. There was another one similar, but different flavor candy sweet you know same family of fragrances but i didn't pick up that one i think they did not have stock so i'll need to go back and see if they have restocked that one but now i have this one candy apple check your local drugstore for hidden gems and perfumes and things like that the perfume is called pomme d'amour which is French and in English it's called candy apple which is not exactly the same translation from Pomme de Mort. If you speak French you already know but the brand name is Tutti de Lis and I will list that in the description box because these pronunciations though yes sorry for those that do speak French um, so this one is basically a pear and lemon scent. Um, uh, it tells me the notes in the back. Okay. And it's got blonde wood, vanilla, and toffee. Love it already. So unfortunately, this is an auto toilet. Some auto toilets are highly concentrated, so we won't. You won't hold that against them this is a 50 mil and you know i love 100 mils but that's all they come in 50 mils so um a paper box looking like a cupcake uh, can't wait to try this well i've already tried it but oh 
Oh, you know what? Pear in perfume is just, it's sweet, it's clean, it's fresh. It's so pretty and it's so delicious in perfumes. Pear is amazing. The lemon is not really there. Like it, it must be in the background, but pear is definitely there. It must just be the, the frat. The pear and the freshness of the lemon as well makes it more citrusy, but it's actually sweet because of the pear. And you can smell the pear. You can. You can. So I'm hoping this wears on the skin really well, but like I said, we have ways to work around that. So this is so cute. Um, yeah, an easy perfume to put in my bag. A few videos ago, Joanna sent me a list of some of her favorite perfumes, new discoveries, and she wrote that in the comment section. And I said I was going to go and find all those perfumes and try them. I'm still getting through the list because some of them are not readily available where I am. So I'll have to drive a bit further to go somewhere where I can try them. But for the ones that I've tried so far, DKNY um, Delicious. This was so pretty and just beautiful. So this is another pear scent. It's a limited edition. It was literally the last bottle there. It was meant to be. Joanna told me this is so grown up every day, but very sexy. It's pretty, it's beautiful, basically. Um, it's a lovely pear scent. So that's how DKNY perfumes come. And you guys, I don't, I don't even want to waste this because I don't think it was cheap. I have to resort to my fingers, you guys. Oh. Pear. It's citrusy and sweet. And it's so beautiful. I feel like if I needed to, I will layer it with my 4711 if I really needed to, but I don't because I actually think it's quite strong. Like it's three, three, four sprays will last a number of hours. Um, so it's very beautiful. I think it's like a perfect everyday clean pear scent. Love this. You know what? If you like those types of perfumes, go and try this and you're most likely going to buy it. I'm just upset because this is a 50 mil. Like, and I asked them and they said, we don't do 100 mils. Like, so I'm very disappointed. I wish it came in a bigger bottle because I loved this. So thank you, Joanna. You have me buying perfumes out here. <laughs> it's okay, I love it though. <laughs> So uh, thank you very much because this is a limited edition and they were about to run out. So I'm glad I caught it when I did. Hopefully you guys can go somewhere and smell it. It's really pretty pear, citrus, clean, fresh, grown up, lovely. I repurchased some body creams. I think I'll share that at the end. But the next perfume is Chagaf Oud. This is one that I kept seeing on my recommendations every time I Google a fragrance, any Arabian perfumes. And this was like a popular one that came up on my Google search. So I bought it. Okay, so this is like a tree. You know those rings on a tree? When you cut a tree, the rings on there. Anyway, on the tree trunk, that's the same kind of design here. And it's gold, it's rough, and it says Shagav Oud. 
Swiss Arabian Eau de Parfum. So let's try this. It's obviously a blind buy because... Okay. What is this? An Eau de Parfum? So, Chagaf Oud Swiss Arabian. Gold bottle, but it's like a cheap lid kind of feel. Let's try this. I'm so excited. Another oud bouquet. Smells slightly more oud than oud bouquet. And lighter. It's not like Lautre oud because this one smells sweet like oud bouquet. But it's a more wearable easy spray type of it's sweet and oud more oud than sweetness but definitely okay well you know what we love oud bouquet so we don't mind basically smells like oud bouquet Slightly lighter and less and more oud smelling. That's it. It's nice. It's a great buy. I think it was close to a hundred dollars. I can't remember how much it was, but it was definitely cheaper than oud bouquet. So it's a great dupe for oud bouquet. Lovely. So when we are talking affordable luxury smelling perfumes. Chagaf Oud is a perfect dupe to Oud Bouquet if you don't want to spend that money and you want something less but great quality that smells similar to a more expensive perfume because we love affordable luxury. There are times when we can't cheap out on certain things like, like a dupe would just not cut it but in this case great great dupe so yeah in this box i have orientica amber if you've watched my previous videos you would know why i'm unboxing this perfume today so this is Royal Ember Eau de Parfum from the Luxury Collection from Orientica. And that's it there. I'm hoping the bottle will work this time. This is so royal looking, beautiful packaging. It's so I love the velvet red interior and the gold exterior. It's the same as the packaging. It's so lovely. Can't wait to try this. Ooh. Hooray, it worked. <laughs> okay, this is clean fresh there's pineapple in there you can smell the pineapple but very lightly yeah this is cleaner fresh more um of an everyday signature scent um it's very grown mature but beautiful nonetheless so I really like this I'm glad I have it in my collection now and I could try it I only sprayed twice why does it seem to go down too quickly do you guys see that I feel like this okay I just want to test out the longevity of it before I make any more comments 
I will list these perfumes in the description. Now, I just want to share two of my repurchased body creams. I think I've already shown you the bottle that I'm currently using of the same body butter, same scent. Um, but this is a repurchase to keep, you know, when I run out. So this is Bomb Dia Bright Cream infused with renewing fruit, vitamin C, and so on. Um, this smells much fruitier than the original. The one that comes in the yellow, that scent makes me feel sick. I got tired of it, didn't use it, so I had to throw it out because it'd been open for a while. I prefer this scent. It's so pretty. Mm. Shea butter, creamy, fruity. So it's really nice and it's moisturizing. It's really great. I like it. It gives you this nice moisturized sheen look on you. So this is my preference. The last body cream that I repurchased is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. This is like a whipped oil body cream. This is called the Butter Drop whipped oil body cream by Fenty Skin and this when you actually put it on your skin you see this light oil sheen on your body the boom boom cream does the same thing but I think this is much more moisturizing I'm not being biased and I love this packaging it's so simple sleek and pretty um, love it so that's it there this is the consistency. It's very thick. Do you guys see that? It's winter here in Australia and we need these types of body creams that really sink in the skin and give us a nice sheen on the skin, making it look healthy. I'm not sponsored. Every time I say something nice about a product, I have to say I'm not sponsored. <laughs> so that's it right there. I really like it. This is a 200 ml, um, 6.7 fluid ounce. So it should get me through. The one that I have right now, I'm almost done with it. Still have a little while to go. Maybe in the next two weeks, I'll be done with that. But, you know, I opened it for you. Ordinarily, I wouldn't open body cream unless I'm about to use it because I don't want to contaminate it. But, you know, I just did that for you guys. So, I hope you see that. That's so pretty. Next is this body cream that Maya suggested. Um, this is Delina body cream. Perfumes de Mali Paris is the name of the brand. So that's it. Pink matte, soft matte box. Um, silver writing. Oh, so excited to try this. Look at that. Acrylic. Is it there? Oh. So creamy. Yes. This does smell like Delena. You know I own the exclusive, but this is the original Delena's body cream. It smells similar but not as sweet, I guess, as intense as exclusive. So, this smells really good. Hmm. This will be so pretty to layer with my Delina exclusive. Oh, I don't want to waste any. I'm making a mess here. Let's put this on the side. The cream feels light 
very whipped type of texture consistency it's very smooth easy to rub um, I'll have to really wear it for me to know because I already had creams on my hands so I couldn't really test out the consistency but it looks really pretty thicker than a lotion obviously it is a cream but lighter than some of the creams that you know it's not like the whipped body oil cream like from Fenty it's lighter than that it's it's a little bit thicker than a lotion I should say it like that I think you guys saw the consistency of it but this is a body lotion from the body shop here in Australia so it's thicker than that type of consistency it'll be a great layering lotion for my Delina exclusive so yes Okay, I had so much fun unboxing new perfumes. I always love adding to my collection. I can't wait to do an updated perfume collection video because I keep adding more and more perfumes to my fragrance wardrobe. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my new buys. Any other information I'll put in the description. So always check my description box. Yes, I love reading your comments. I love your suggestions. So I'm always in the comment section responding and most of you have suggested something to me and now I have either gone and tried or it's on my list to try and I have done a lot of blind buys suggested by my um, subscribers. So yes, I mean, the same way I share ideas with you is the same way you share ideas with me. So I really enjoy that. Um, yeah <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it so I hope to see you in my next one thank you